So we're here to today to talk about two books. Um, the first one is uh, this kid's book called Cloud Walker, and it is by Roy Henry Vickers and Robert Budd. And um, I keep on getting it wrong. Okay, so it's Roy Henry Vickers who is the painter who, who, who designed the book. And that my favorite part about it is that it has kind of a weird um, printing process overlay where the images, you have to kind of move the pages to see all the images that are attached to it. So I don't, it's probably not going to pick up too well on the um, camera, but for every image when there's behind it a cool little secondary image that you have to kind of move around to be able to see. And the story is the um, mythical beginnings of um, First Peoples in BC, um, and the this, the secondary images end up telling parts of the story, and they're kind of a, like a secret um, part that you have to see. I'm only going to get to one because I'm not. I don't want to ruin it for everyone. But if you, I don't know if, how well you can see it. But in there, Cloud Walker is under the water, and he disappears and he comes and goes with motion. So that is Cloud Walker, which is a favorite new book of mine from a very small publishing company called Harbor Publishing in BC. I think they did an amazing job with their book. The second one is also by a Canadian publisher, not that I did that on purpose, but um, this is Susan Point, um, who is a um, uh, Coast Salish uh, multimedia artist, and this collects all of her um, prints. One of the things that she's really well known for are her um, prints, and this is just, I mean, it's years and years and years of her work, and they are amazing. And really cool. The quality of this um, reproduction is just amazing. You can see every detail um, in every print. The subtle variations that she worked so hard to get into her originals have made it into the book, which I think is just awesome. The book also contains um, some essays um, and also some commentary by the artist, which is cool. It gives you a lot about her process and um, the actual technical aspects of the work, but also just some of what um, the meaning that she has assigned to it um, and how important it is for her and to have the, the, the works preserved like this. So another great book that just came out.